when Thunderbird for Android is ready to be released. Um, what is the upgrade path going to be? Um, so we are going to keep K9 and Thunderbird for Android released in parallel. The code base is the same with Material 3. We are um, we can easily do a theme, a brand switch between the two and release two completely separate apps. This was done for many reasons. One reason is we have a somewhat substantial uh, K9 user base that they express their desire to keep K9. They like the brand. They don't care about Thunderbird at all. Um, so we want to keep supporting that. The other more technical reason is that Google doesn't like when you have an app ID that says something and then you suddenly switch an app from one thing to another. So we couldn't do it. Um, and rather than saying at one point, okay, we're going to stop supporting K9, now you're forced to switch to Thunderbird for Android, we can very easily, there's no engineering overhead, we can very easily release the same updates, same security updates, same new features on both apps at the same time. And we're going to keep it this way for maybe a year or two. As I said, there's no engineering overhead, so it's very easy for us to keep supporting the same, like two different apps at the same time because there's the same code base. Once the maturity level of Thunderbird for Android and K9 is at a point that we're extremely satisfied and we're confident that we see users naturally transitioning towards Thunderbird for Android and seeing the user's adoption growing one point in one side and uh, diminishing another side. We will prompt K9 users to migrate to Thunderbird for Android. And we can do it in two ways. First of all, the initial step is what we're doing right now already is implementing uh, Mozilla accounts and uh, Mozilla Sync which means that if you log in with your sync account in K9, you sync all your things, then you open Thunderbird for Android, you log in with your sync account, automatically all your sync data will be reinstalled. So all your accounts, your tags, your settings, uh, all the things that we will support will be there. So the migration path is very frictionless. You don't need any extra tool or any extra things. Um, another thing that we want to explore is one tap migrate from K9 to um, Thunderbird for Android. That really depends on the limitations of the platform, Android. For security reason, uh, one application cannot access the profile of another application. They're containerized and separate, so that's a technical limitation, but hopefully with Mozilla account, we will be able to overcome any of those limitations and we can offer just a pop-up in K9 that says, hey, Thunderbird for Android will be the future. Please transition there, just tap. If you have installed, we automatically log in into your Mozilla account. We ask for the password, of course, because we don't know your password and all your data will be there. So we definitely are trying to find the most frictionless workflow ever to allow you to just transition without losing anything and not even realizing that you switched app other than just a brand change, basically. So are the monthly developer updates, so where would the best place for people to go if they want a kind of continual updates on this transition process? Uh, yeah, definitely in our blog, blog.thunderbird.net, once a month we release uh canine updates caddy uh the previous sole maintainer of uh canine is doing these monthly updates um if you're interested in seeing progress and testing new features early and faster you can if you're on f droid you can install the beta you can download the apk install the beta if you're on google play you can access the google play store and join the beta channel we are experimenting and trying to create a um, alpha channel, a sort of like daily mm -hmm. release. Um, but before we do that, we need to 
improve a little bit our release process right now is very manual we want to automate it a little bit more with ci cd and all this good stuff but um yeah definitely use the beta it's very stable for being beta yeah. and you will get exposed to super cool new features earlier than regular users